Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albino Plays Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'm going to press the X button right now because we are going to Traverse Town. Because we got, uh, in the the two uh, two episodes ago, we got the second uh, Navi gummy piece. Uh, so now we have to go back to Sid so we can put them together and, uh... Yeah, that'll be... And then we'll be able to go to Hollow Bastion. I don't remember how long this Traverse Town takes. But I might take the time, if it's going to be a short episode, to go do some extra stuff around there that I haven't done yet. Like, uh... Well, for one, I guess we can go to the accessory shop and see what we can synthesize, if anything. Probably not. I have not been getting a lot of items. Uh... I can make a cottage. I've already made an energy bangle. So, yeah, I'll make the cottage. And then sometimes if you make stuff, and then you can talk to them again, and then you'll get more stuff to make. But I feel like I need to make at least two more things before they'll give me a bigger selection. And I got the postcard that's right over here already. Oh, uh, that was off camera, so that's why I make sure that I need to, like, sort of caption that. But yeah, we could go to the, we could go to the gizmo shop. We could go to Merlin's house and do that yellow trinity and also glide over. Oh, we can also go here. I forgot about this. And get a new keyblade and a bunch of new uh, gummy blueprints that I don't really care about, but you know, the keyblade. Uh, the wishing star is a weak keyblade, but it it's 100% chance to critical hit uh, on the finishing move, which is pretty good if it wasn't like so mediocre uh, of a keyblade. So give me Oh yeah, so this is it right here. Yes, Wishing Star. I wonder if they buffed this one like they buffed the Fairy Harp. Let me see. Wishing Star. They do have... I'm pretty sure they have these in order of how they think you're supposed to get them. Which means, yeah, it's five. Always finishes up a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. Unfortunately, you know, it's half the strength of Olympia, so obviously we're not going to be using that. And then I don't know... what makes... Geppetto give you blueprints like what you need to be doing for him to keep giving you more blueprints But I know that you can just keep talking to him and he'll give you new blueprints And just like as you progress more in the story, he'll have more for you Do you have anything for me? Doesn't appear so isn't there a postcard in here? Why yes, there is I'm so glad I came in here yeah, All right, that's everything I believe. I think I have all the post... No, that's right, I still have to get... Well, besides the gizmo shop, I still have to get that one that I got knocked off. That was on top. I don't think the Heartless in Traverse Town have been buffed yet. In fact, I don't think... Well, of course not. Because none of them have been yet, because we haven't gone to Hollow Bastion and had that thing happen where, like, all the Heartless become stronger. Uh, so yeah, let's go finish, let's go get all the postcards. And, uh, is there gonna be variant? This looks like there's gonna be variant Heartless here. Yep, there they are. Okay. I absolutely hate having to do this. Do not let it see you. Where the hell, oh. Shit, shit. Okay. As long as you hit them before they spot you. Oh, Power Stone! Oh, give me more of those. And yeah, they'll keep spawning in ones, and then twos, and then threes. And you can keep this up for as long as you can make it so they don't see you before you kill them. I think I've screwed it up, though. Yep. Okay, and now we need to get the hell out of here. This is the part where uh, they they have infinitely good accuracy, and if you don't leave the area as soon as possible, they will just kill you. But yeah, I did get one Power Stone out of that, which is a lot better than I thought I was going to do. So I'm glad for that. And yeah, these guys are still weak enough that uh, we can kill them in one, all in one hit, which is uh, good. I wonder if there's a like, way I can sort of like cheat my way up to get up here without... Having to do the whole, from the second district, like, up the bell towers and stuff. 
Probably not. Uh, but in any case... Well, since we're here, we'll go... Uh, do this Yellow Trinity and then also glide and get that chest. And also visit Merlin and get the Spellbinder. Because now that we have... We have all the magic, right? Yes, we do. Now that we have every magical spell that there is, uh, he will give us the Spellbinder Keyblade, which is... Which increases magic power by a lot and increases your MP by two. And I think it's also not that weak either in terms of physical attacks. Uh, but let's do this Trinity. Yeah, this does look like it's going to be like an interim episode where like we just get a few extra things that sort of help boost our character. And I'm fine by that, you know? This is a game where there's a bunch of those. AP up? I Technically, I would consider that worth it. Okay, there's the chest. Oh, that was close. Let's see us. Oh, Dalmatians. Oh, the first ones, too. One, two, and three. All right, please let me back up here. Thank you. Uh, we will not have White Trinity until we defeat Riku for the first time in Hollow Bastion, in sort of like the ball, the entrance hall of uh, the castle. Uh, but that's not very far away, but, you know, we still won't be able to leave for a time. Okay. I am. Thank you for the Spellbinder. And I don't want anything else from you. Let me, let's take a look at it. It's above the Wishing Star, so, but not as good as Metal Chocobo. Four, really? I thought, wow, that's weak. That is incredibly weak. But significantly enhances magic and summon power. So maybe if you were a magical guy, that would more than make up for it. It significantly is a strong word. All right, well, okay. Well, also, welcome to the only efficient use of Mermaid Kick outside of Atlantica. Like, this is just what it does. And it, now that I think about it, this isn't even as fast as I thought it would be. This is still kind of pathetically slow. You ain't no Michael Phelps, Sora. <sighs> oh, well, now, now we gotta go back to uh, the second district. I don't want to deal with you guys. It's probably faster for us to just go to first and then go. It probably isn't, actually. Actually, I'm certain that it is not now. But yeah, we'll mail the postcards when we get the last three. Well, let me mail them now so I can make sure that I have as many as I think I have. Fifth postcard. Okay. Sixth postcard. Send the seventh postcard. Oh, I'm missing one more. I'm missing the three that I talked about and one more. I did the one in the item shop already. Is there a postcard in the hotel room? In one of the hotel rooms? Hmm. Huh. I'm drawing a blank on that one. I've memorized nine of them. I think that's pretty good. Please don't be the same, guys. Even though I kind of want it to be... Okay, good. I kind of want to, like, uh, I want another crack at them so I can get more Power Stones. By the way, the more you kill them, the more likely it is they'll drop a Power Stone. So, like, if, you, if you're efficient enough that you can kill them, you can kill, like, 20 of them, you're going to be rolling in Power Stones. Uh, but it is obviously very hard to pull off. Some people want to cast, like, Stop, but uh, I find that I run out of MP too quick for that. And then some people would say, well, why don't you just stock your item stuff with ethers? But also, that means, like, I would need to get Stop Guh, and it's still a long ways away from me having that kind of spell. And I want to farm Power Stones a lot earlier than that. So I think it is better to just learn to efficiently, like, just be stealth and stealthy enough that you can, like, predict where they're going to jump and then hit them before they can see you. And then you'll be rolling in Power Stones, and it's pretty nice. Uh, but still, we only still only have uh, one Lucky Strike ability equipped. So that's why I was so impressed by the fact that I actually managed to get a Power Stone from them. Because I don't believe Sora gets Lucky Strike until, like, the high 50s with this build. I know you don't learn it to level 99 if you pick the Staff, which is why I would never pick the Staff in this game. Even though... I may have underestimated magic. It's not worth never getting Lucky Strike until t such time as you don't need it anymore. So, 
Okay, so we're up here now. Oh, let's not fall off. I'm surprised there weren't more waves of Heartless. Did I just kill him that fast? Okay. But yeah, you step on all the buttons. Which does something somewhere else. You know, that might lead to the last postcard that I'm not thinking of right now. Okay. Stop. This is the clock. There we go. Okay, now it stopped. Oh, I didn't even need to... This has nothing to do with stop. It just stops on its own. I'm pretty sure. Like, I I don't think that me having done stop actually made any sort of difference. But that's two more postcards, which means we can get the last one that I know of. And then I guess after this episode, I'll just look up where the last one is. I mean, my knowledge of this comes from having looked stuff up in the past, so... I discovered some of them on my own, but... You know, some of them are a bit convoluted. Oh, these items. I cannot wait to just be rolling at items with Lucky Strike. Goofy is my savior because he learns it so early. I don't remember when Donald learns it. I think Donald is sort of a late bloomer in that aspect. Because the fact that he's a magic user would lead me to believe that if he had a dive to the heart, he would pick the wand, which would make him learn it at 99, but... I feel like some that kind of like runs off a little bit in terms of him probably learning it a little later in his career. Oh, Blaze Shard. Thank you. Is there another one left? No. Alright. Alright, so last time we got here, I got knocked off by the goddamn air soldiers. Because I wasn't strong enough to kill them in, like, one hit without, like, having to jump off and hit them. Uh, so I'm... I'm just gonna fire. I'm gonna use fire on all of them. And that should be good. Alright, let's do it. Don't let me down. Me. Because, unfortunately, they won't let you pick up the postcard until these guys are dead. Nice job, Donald. I can go through a door here. What does this door do? Does it just put me back on the roof? Yes, it does. That's weird, because this isn't a door, so I don't... Uh, eh. Okay, but that's three more postcards. There's one postcard some... Post There's one postcard somewhere. I uh, don't know exactly where the uh, postcard could be, but I suppose that I will have to find it at some point. That's like Indian and Canadian, so I'm probably like Russell Peters, I guess, but not really. Ah, uh, where is it? Rack my goddamn brain. I mean, there's no reason to just stand around. Let's go in the small house and just check in. Maybe there's something here. Nah. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't need to send the 10th postcard. I'm pretty sure you get something really good for it, though. I don't think it's a power-up. I think that's for, like, the ninth one. But what could be after that, then? Is it, like, a Mega Elixir, then? I'm trying to think of, like, a top-tier item that would warrant having to do all this goddamn work for it. But, uh, let's mail what we got. Seventh. Mega- oh, there's the Mega Elixir. Eighth is Orichalcum. That's rare. Nine is a defense up, I think. Oh, it's an AP up. And then ten is a power up, I'm pretty sure, maybe. Uh, but let's use my uh, AP ups that I have collected. Maybe I should have talked to... Uh, uh, what's her name? The good fairy. Fairy godmother? Because uh, I do have uh, Dumbo's summon, but I just didn't even actually think about it at all when I was there. Okay. 
But yeah, I'll just I'll just look up where the tenth one is a little later. Just remember what Donald said to you. No frowning, no sad faces. How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Aren't you worried? I'm doing. The king told <laughs> they us don't to give go a out shit. and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. You just gotta believe in yourself, that's all. Just believe. I believe in you. And there's Kyrie's heart. Now that I think about it, I feel so slow for not realizing it sooner. The game gives you all these hints that Kyrie's heart is inside Sora. Like this one, for example. This is one of Kyrie's memories. And, uh, you know, there were like two or three other scenes through before this that pretty much give it away. Eh, I don't know. I mean, it's a gr it's great story weaving. You know, it's like uh, in those like sort of crime caper, like CSI, Criminal Minds things. You're like, how could I have not known this earlier? Now that I know it all makes everything makes sense now. You know, if you're watching like a good murder mystery. But that's good. I am Square, uh, Squaresoft, now Square Enix should be proud that they could craft a story that is so intricately woven that people are still asking questions about it today, even 10 years later. More than 10 years later now, isn't it? And that's something that they're very, very consistent with in this series. I am really excited for uh, 2.5. One, to play the HD Kingdom Hearts 2. I have the regular one, but I'm waiting to play 2.5, their HD. And also to play Birth by Sleep, because I never got to play that because I don't have a PSP. And that'll be on the collection as well. So I'll be glad for that. And I never played uh, 358 divided by 2 days, is that the right number? In uh, the, this remix. The, th the cutscenes, and I was glad just for the cutscenes, because I want the stories to connect. Because I sort of, like, I sort of, like, skip once every three games because of how vastly spread out they are across all the platforms. So I'm glad that I can finally, like, just connect each story the to the others. Um, and no. be more Kyrie? knowing about things. Did you call me? Yes, she's inside you. Don't you, don't you know by now? That's neat, I suppose. This ain't no transform. Okay, I can jump up here. I'm pretty sure there's no actual reason for me to jump up here, though. And there's no place for me to fly. Except, maybe... Oh, right, because this is where the Blue Trinity takes me. Okay, so yeah, there was no reason to do that at all. Well... You know, this is a really short episode. I'm gonna go hang out at the hotel. That doesn't make any sense. I'm... What do I want to do? I th actually think that I need to get up there. Actually, I don't think they let me. Oh yeah, they do. But then there's no reason to be up here either. 
Maybe I can glide over to Geppetto's workshop and there's something up there. I'm pretty sure that they don't let me actually stand on this building. Well, they kind of do, but it just makes me slide everywhere. Oh, there's a chest. Is this the 10th postcard? Ah, <laughs> all right. Oh, thank God I didn't decide to leave. Oh, it's a defense up. Okay, I could have I could have sworn that they gave me a power up for one of them. Oh well, what are my stats right? What do my stats look like right now? Status: strength thirty two, defense twenty two, level forty. That's not bad. Defense nineteen, defense twenty one. As long as my defense is better than Goofy's, I feel good about stuff. And it wouldn't be if I didn't give him a bunch of defense ups, but. That's everything, isn't it? Pretty much everything there is to do in Traverse Town. Besides uh, the torn page stuff, which, again, I'll visit when I have all the torn pages. Which I currently do not. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, uh, you know, it's sort of, it is sort of like an interim kind of episode where, we, you know, not much happens. But I did uh, find some good stuff. And I fought a variant Heartless that we'd never seen before. At least in this playthrough. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.